Some people find managing their messages can be a bit of a problem. Now, I have already prepared um, a, a short tutorial about managing your messaging settings. Um, in this tutorial, I want to look at how you actually check what messages you've got. So I've logged into Languages at Warwick and I've come to the My Home page, which I can see here. Now this is a customizable page and I've already customized my page in order to put my messages right at the top and this is a link directly into my messages. You may need to scroll down your page and find the messages section and drag it to where you want it to be. So let's click straight into messages. Now here is perhaps not obvious but here you've got a drop down. By default, you'll see a long list, and in some cases I've seen as long as two or three hundred unread messages. Now, this, this is a filter. In order to remove those unread messages, you will have to look at them, but you don't have to read them or act on them. So by showing the unread messages, and I can see there's one that's come in here, I click on it. And that message, when it comes up, as, as I can see here, is actually just a, uh, an alert from a student completing an activity. And now I've seen it, I can come back and uh, return to my filter and maybe look at recent conversations or recent notifications. Um, if I look back now to unread messages, I will find, so I'm going to come back to messages, I've got no unread messages at all, so that filter isn't turning up. So I didn't click on the message or anything, I just made sure that it showed and then it disappeared. It's no longer an unread message. Um, so although it's a bit of a pain, it's quite a quick thing to put right to uh, make sure that you've dismissed your messages. Um, what will make things turn up there as unread messages will be your messaging settings. So if you think you're getting too many messages, check your messaging settings in your profile. Here, as you can see, I can return to messages that have come from any of my courses. So these are all um, course uh, codes so that I can go into my courses. I can also go into recent conversations and, see, and look at messages from individual users. So I can click on an individual user and see the conversations that I've had with that, with that user and then send a further message. So the system will um, keep a record of the messages that you've passed through Languages at Warwick. Um, and you can see the message that's come to you and the reply that you've sent. Um, so Languages at Warwick can mediate that message setting process, uh, message sending process and uh, keep a track. So if you want to contact somebody perhaps slightly less formally than via an email, the messaging system is very efficient at doing that and keeping a track of what has been said. So it's really just remembering that when you're in messages, the box here is a filter. And when you use this filter, you'll be able to navigate much more quickly to the messages and the uh, read the ones that you want to see. Um, here you can see there's a search box as well, so I can uh, search for a particular person to see if there was a message. And there's even an advanced tab here if I want to look for a specific, uh, more detailed field to find a particular message. So that's how you can check your messages and reduce the number of alerts and uh, links perhaps that you get. If I come back into the menu bar here, and scroll down to underneath my courses, you can see there's a section here called alerts. Uh, this, it, the settings for this are set within your own messaging settings. So this will advise me of things that I've particularly said to the system that I want to look out for, whether it's homework assignments perhaps that have been submitted, marking that needs doing, those sorts of things.